hi friends today i'm gonna show you how to create a soap protocol web service in php i'm going to use nu soap library for that so first of all you need to download nu soap library from net i have provided a link in description go to the link and download respective files if you download that library you may see this nu soap zip so zip file extract those files So after extracting you will see these two files lib and samples don't worry about the samples these are just uh, examples you need to copy this lib folder and paste it in your project root directory so right now i am in www root directory of vamp go to your respective project i have created a demo project for you so go to your project and copy your lib folder here in in lib folder you may see a lot of files you don't need to worry about that just copy lib folder here so before getting started uh, let me explain you what is the project which i'm going to create today it's a simple project so we are going to create service.php and client.php web service will accept book name and it will return price of that particular book client will pass uh, name of the book and service will run price so we have to create service.php and client.php oh, so client will send name of book and service will return price of that particular book i'm going to split this entire tutorial into two parts in first part i will concentrate on service.php and client on oh, sorry and second part i will concentrate on client.php so first of all you need to create this service.php file i have already created service.php file as soon as you created you need to import that lib folder here so import that folder actually you are not you are going to import a new soap file we require lib so right now i am in it's not so right now i am in demo root directory and um, i'm working on the service.php file on our nu soap class in this is the file which we have to import and this nu soap file is in lib folder so you need to import that require lib slash nu soap dot php so you have successfully imported that file and once you have imported that you need to create an instance for that class so uh, i'm calling that instance as server and you need to create instance for nu soap server since we are working on server you need to create instance for nu soap server if you're working on client similar if you need to create instance for nu soap client so that's it you have created instance for the class and the very first thing you need to do after creating instance is to configure your wsdl file i hope you already know about what is wsdl if you don't know i'm not going to explain here create sorry configure wsdl file so it's going to accept two parameters the first parameter is name of your web service i'm going to call it as demo and second parameter is name sorry namespace of your project or oh, sorry web service so you have configured your wsdl file so on the next thing is you need to register your core functions i mean which are the functions you are going to add it as web service so i have already created a function which will accept one input i mean that's name and it will return so don't worry about this one and it will return this price so the logic is very simple i have created an array here which will store names and price name as keys and price of values it will return price of that particular book if it exists so this is the logic if you want to have a glance look at it i'm not going to explain about this logic it's very simple logic so i'm going to add this function as a web service now so again there is a simple function called register if you want to register any uh, any class so if you have already worked on uh, asp dot sorry c hash and i mean dot net framework 
you may know you may have noticed something called web method in uh, .NET framework so it's almost similar to register here so register going to accept a lot of parameters but three are very important and remaining all are i mean not important i mean not un sorry not necessary i guess so the first parameter is name of the function you are going to register in our case it is price so first parameter is name of function in our case it is price name of function and second parameter is array of inputs inputs in our case it's only single input and the third parameter is outputs remember it's, uh, you need to pass our inputs and outputs in array some error here okay so this is the basic scenario of register function the first uh, the first method is price i mean not price uh, name of the function and second parameter is input and third parameter is output if you don't have any inputs uh, just leave it blank but in our case we have one input that is name so you are going to add name here and as a value we need to pass data type so in our case it's string so xsd string is a uh, data type of so, sorry string data type i'm not going to explain about this you, i think you might have already known about xsd document uh, so something like that and return is going to be in our case we are going to return price which is integer so i'm going to declare data type as integer one thing is when you so uh, one benefit of this nu soap library it will create a wsdl file on fly so you don't need to create wsdl file again so that's it you have created a you have registered a price function successfully and at final i'm going to add two lines which will check whether your uh, post data exists or not so i'm not going to explain about these two lines just copy these two lines pass the video and copy these two lines this thing is pretty simple if raw data is set it will accept the data otherwise it will string i mean it will accept empty string it will pass this to our service function so that's it we have created a function let's check this now so this is the service which you have created now if you notice here if you click on this wsdl it will create wsdl file for you i mean it, it already created wsdl file for you that's the benefit of a new soap library and sorry and this is the name of the project which we have created and these are the functions which we have created now price is the function if you click on price you will see this name binding uh, input and its data type and output and its data type if you want you can add many functions let's say if you want to add any function for example count here let's say count books this is just for demonstration i'm not going to use this function here the same thing just copy the function register and change the name count name etc and in our case these are empty fields if you want you can return now integer but i'm not going to worry about that just for demonstration right so if you notice here it had already added uh, this function here price count name etc so if you want you can add uh, as many functions as you want uh, but right now our project contains only one function and again one thing i need to specify here in our case it has only one parameter 
its name let's say if you if you have two parameters id you need to pass another parameter you need to add another value here id and its return type app access to integer etc so this is the way how you pass multiple parameters right now we have only one parameter so don't worry about this so that's it this is all about web service in php wsdl file and the functions which are created so this is about first part in second part i mean in next part i will concentrate on how to consume this web service which we have created now